heard a report today about this guy. The poor son of a bitch was working in a steel mill. I've never been in one, but a buddy of mine has, and he says it's hell on earth in there. The blast furnaces, all that molten steel, like the insides of a volcano. And the condition of the steel industry in this country today, in order to compete with all the foreign factories and all that cheap labor, you know what it has to be like. they they got to be willing to make all these wage concessions and work short-handed. Plus, they have these unbelievable quotas to meet, production quotas, so it looks good on paper, they're making money, but they're also working way beyond the safety capacity, and how they get OSHA to look the other way is a good question. But that's what happened to this guy I heard about. I don't know exactly what, maybe his sleeve got caught in a machine, a roller, you know, but whatever it was, Jesus, it tore his arm off. I mean, the guy lost his whole freaking arm, just torn off, right out of the socket, gone. And how he didn't bleed to death, I have no idea. But they called for an ambulance. I'm sure the guy was in shock. The body just shuts down in cases like that. What do they call it? Trauma? And, and the ambulance arrives. They take the guy, put him in it, and they're hauling ass to the hospital, hoping to save his life. By the way, in case you're wondering, they, they're not going to reattach the arm. The arm is gone. The machine ate his arm. And they got the lights and sirens going. And they're rushing to the hospital when they're in a terrific collision right in the middle of an intersection. Some guy didn't stop. It's a young guy, and he's got his radio blasting. He never hears the ambulance, and he smashes right into the side of the ambulance. He's killed. The driver of the ambulance is killed. Two paramedics in back are seriously injured. And the guy who lost his arm, his legs are crushed. How he survived this, I don't know, but he did. He's still alive. So they load him into another ambulance, get him to the hospital finally, stop the bleeding, get some blood into him, and they have to amputate one of his legs to save his life, this poor son of a bitch. And so they do, and the guy lives, but he loses an arm and a leg. It's like the left arm and the right leg, or vice versa. They're on opposite sides. Plus he's got some serious head injuries, which they're not sure, but they think will affect his eyes and his hearing and his speech and his balance too. But he's only got the one leg, so balance, I mean, but the point is, look at what happened to this guy. In the span of like two hours, he goes from happy-go-lucky to this guy, it's like he stepped on a landmine, which is also something we're very familiar with, unfortunately, and it's exactly the misfortune angle that I'm talking about. Because I hear this and I think, man, what a lucky son of a bitch I am. You know what I mean? This is my lucky day. Or when you hear of a plane going down, all those people just vaporized. It's like there's a law every day. Someone must pay. There must be sacrifice somewhere on the planet. Somebody's going down. It's like the lottery. That's all it is. A question of when your number is up. And hearing about this guy was like a wake-up call, you know? It made me realize just how lucky I am. How lucky all of us are. Well, not all of us. Not that guy, that's for sure. But most of us were really, really lucky. And I'm grateful. Shoot, I could have been Born a poet, or, or a musician, or a mime. 